By most accounts, the future is going to be a terrible place. To deal with the rapidly changing climate of the 22nd century, the Pacificans began altering its citizens' DNA, while the Atlantic Alliance decided to ban genetic engineering and go the route of cybernetic enhancement instead. Long story short, the Pacificans get all bitter about the ban, secede from the Union, and threaten to take over the world. You play as Jet Brody, who is sent in by the Alliance to apprehend the Pacifican general responsible for the uprising. You've probably already played several games like Fracture before. You can regenerate your health by taking cover, you've got machine guns, rocket launchers, sniper rifles, and more at your disposal, and you'll drive a futuristic and poorly handling off-road vehicle. Fracture differs from other similar games in that you're able to use your guns or grenades to alter terrain. Although the game hints at some interesting applications for this ability in the tutorial, the reality is you'll raise the ground to reach ledges and dig under some walls, but not much else. The only puzzles that require terraforming are exceptionally simple. The situations in which you change the terrain to kill soldiers are few and contrived. Really, the only time you'll use the mechanic without being prompted is when you make a hill to use as cover. It's a shame the concept wasn't taken further because it has the potential, but its execution here is underwhelming. You progress through the game's linear levels by blasting wave after wave of similar looking enemies. The bad guys aren't smart, but they make up for their lack of brain power with sheer numbers. In fact, Fracture is quite difficult and often more frustrating than it is fair. Enemies will blast you from all angles, keeping the camera under control is a chore in itself, and bad AI make the game very frustrating at times. Now it's not all bad, there is some fun to be had here. Headshots yield a satisfying spray of yellow goo. Nice! Fractures multiplayer doesn't take any chances and gives you standard modes like Solo and Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, and King of the Hill. Excavation mode is the one mode that stands out. Here, teams dig into the ground and raise a giant spike, which in turn earns the team points towards victory. It's a nice addition and brings some enjoyment to the multiplayer portion of the game. The game's visuals are pretty standard for a futuristic shooter. The ground and most textures aren't much to look at, but some of the bigger explosions look nice, and the snow that falls in the later level is impressive. The frame rate is solid, an impressive feat given the amount of carnage that sometimes occurs. Other than some sometimes frustrating gameplay, there's not a whole lot really wrong with Fracture, but there's not really a whole lot right with it either. If you do need another shooter and you need it right now, you could do worse than Fracture. You could also do a lot better. <laughs>